As we know in the world, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. So let's go into the things that I don't like about this DJI Avada 2. Now, let's start with the controllers. These two controllers, my home built and the old DJI controller, do not work with O4 technology, so let's just put that aside for now. But these two controllers do. They both have the O4 technology. So why is it that I have to lug this controller around when I already have this? Why can't DJI allow us to fly the Avada with this 04 controller like i don't see what the big deal is and i know compatibility is not an issue because this controller can fly both the avada and the mini 4 pro so if this controller can do both then this controller can certainly do both as well so why did you make me go out and buy a 200 dollars controller actually i guess that's the answer right you want me to go out and spend 200 dollars to buy a controller that i don't need for me it's not about the money it's about having to lug these two around and you might say oh it's just an extra controller well that's how it starts I'm Another reason why a lot of people, myself included, don't like the Avada 2 is because hardcore FPV pilots, we fly with our own controllers. It's something that we hardly change. To become good at FPV takes a lot of practice. And you want to practice generally on the same controller so you keep getting better and better. If you look at a lot of the pros, they don't jump in and out of controllers. They have controllers from years ago. So with that being said, we would like to fly this 04 with our regular controllers. Now, I know this is unheard of in the world of DJI, but instead of coming out with an all new, brand new controller, which is fine too, if somebody wants brand new, they pay the 200 bucks, build a module that we can click on on the back of our hardcore controllers because all the hardcore controllers come with a module you could have an 04 protocol that clips into the module at the back there sell that for 200 dollars if you will so that way people don't have to lug around multiple controllers and they can fly with something that they're familiar about now let's talk about the goggles this is the dji 04 goggles the rubber padding really nice to keep the light leak out the extra piece in the front definitely serve its purpose but what's going on with the interface what happened to the touch interface here that was on the older goggles why did you take it away you add the cool new features like the defogging the cameras in front all that good stuff but you take away the touch interface i just feel like that's taking a step back instead of taking a step forward speaking of going backwards as cool as this new 04 goggles is where's the plug what happens if this battery dies? What do I do then? Now I walk around with an external brick that's plugged into here and keeping the goggles charged? Like, how does that work, DJI, when the older goggles, mind you, that I have here has a plug, boop, and you can plug your FPV batteries that you fly with get a cord and plug it right in there and you could put this battery at the back or you could use the official DJI batteries that the goggles comes with buy more of those and plug them in at the back have them ready and ready to go on charge and you're never out of batteries what happens to the people who had the Avada 1 now they have the goggles for the Avada 1. Now they have the goggles for the Avada 2. Will you have compatibility that will make the newer goggles work with the older Avada? So that way people don't have to walk around with two goggles, but then they might have to because this is going to die. And if they want to fly both drones, they're probably going to end up needing two goggles. So that's a bummer. What happens if this cable gets roughed up and the wires in here break? Then you're out of a goggles as well. Whereas here you can always replace the wire as well as replacing the batteries and you're back up and running with your goggles. Technology is supposed to be making things more efficient and more adaptable. It just seems like we're going backwards. And as a result, it makes me wonder, should I not keep the Avada 2 and wait until the new air unit comes out to see if they come out with a new type of goggles? Because I feel like if they bring out the 04 air unit and they still try to push these goggles that are not very versatile on hardcore FPV pilots, 
it's not going to sell well. And as a result, I think they'll have another goggles with a removable battery, or I should say interchangeable battery, whichever one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, especially if you fly hardcore FPV. Are you even interested in the O4 area unit? Let me know in the comment section below. So now if I'm going somewhere and I wanna fly traditional FPV and Cinewhoop FPV, guess what? I'm walking with two different goggles, two different controllers, and now if I decide I want to take my Mini 4 Pro, now I'm carrying an extra controller too. And God help me if I have a Mavic 3 Pro, which I do have, which is working on O3, then that's another controller that I'm fetching too. Even though I get it, O3 and O4 is different. Come on, make the O4 stuff work with the O3 stuff. Kind of like how you made these newer goggles compatible with the old Vistas and the old Air units and the old DJI FPV. Yes, you can make these new goggles compatible with the O3 and you can make this O4 controller compatible with the Avada as well. Last but not least, we have to talk about the drone itself. But before we do, I'm gonna fly a little bit. So in that footage, I was actually chasing my friend. His name is Georgie. He also has an Avada 2. And it was at that moment that I realized that the Avada 2 wasn't for me. Look at this footage right here. We're doing our thing. We were hitting our gaps. And then all of a sudden, bang, Georgie hit between the two gaps and smacked his Avada 2. And as you can see in the pictures, he tried gluing it up and stuff. And it was at that moment that not only was I having the most fun with the Avada 2, but it was also at that moment that I realized, oh crap, it's only a matter of time before I crash mine. And then having to deal with the sending the drone to DJI, waiting just to get it back. And then you're probably saying, well, that's not what this drone is really for. And you're right, but guess what? That's where I'm having the most fun with this drone. And that brings me to the biggest flaw. I feel like if DJI had made these propeller guards removable and interchangeable, that would have meant the world in terms of durability and long lasting. Like if this was able to click off this front end somehow, whether it clicks off, it screws off and these propeller guards were able to be removed, replaced, and we could just stock up on propeller guards, stock up on propellers and stock up on front ends that every time we crash or break, we don't have to send this drone and do without it or spend another 450 bucks, close to $500 just to have a spare drone. It was at that point that I realized the way I want to fly this drone is going to cost me a lot of money. And it hit me. Why not build my own three inch drone? Georgie's actually keeping his Avada because he relies on his FPV footage for income. I don't. Most of my income comes from these two really bringing money for me. Nobody has ever really asked me for FPV footage, so I don't really get paid for any FPV footage. And I think this makes a great FPV 
cinematographer's drone. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you have the Avada 2? Obviously, I don't expect you to be hitting gaps with it. If you're a young dude and you really want to learn FPV, like you really want to learn manual, but you don't want to build your own drone, you don't want to have to learn to do the software behind it, whereas something like this, you can buy it on day one, fly it on day one, and obviously if you're going to learn to fly manual, you are going to crash it and break it a few times, so you will have to have the DJI refresh and on the flip side even if you're an older person and you want that FPV experience but you know you'll probably never end up in manual the chances are very low because it takes a lot of discipline and energy and focus and practice to learn how to fly manual you know you're never gonna go that far but you want the experience you want the low flying you want the rush you want the speed you want the wide angles you want the stabilized footage and everything even the flips and the cool rolls you can get out of this just flying it with the motion controller i think you will enjoy this drone as well so yes i'm off to build my own three inch i'm excited about that and this drone if anything has definitely inspired me. If you're looking for LUTs for your Avada 2, your Mini 4, your Mavic 3, or any other drone, head over to www.dronexfactor.com and also think about becoming a patron. It's only $1 a month, that's $12 a year. You get full access to me. It's like shooting me a text message. It was a pleasure hanging with you guys, and I will catch you guys, well, whenever I can.